IOT, that's the Internet of Things, a world of devices everywhere connected together over the Internet. And that's the future that Honeywell envisions for aviation, too. We saw the Anthem flight deck demonstrated a few weeks ago at the NBAA convention in Las Vegas. This week, we take a closer look at what might be coming to your cockpit, regardless of the size of the aircraft you fly. We needed to focus on connected. Um, so instead of the connectivity we're all used to, where you have to walk up to the airplane with the iPad and connect it, instead we're doing that with always on cloud connected. That means we can do things off board the airplane or the airplane can send data to the cloud and we can access that from anywhere. Jason Bialak showed me some of the capabilities of the Anthem flight deck in a bare room in the Las Vegas Convention Center. And while this sim looks like the cockpit of a high-end jet, the system can be scaled to smaller general aviation aircraft too. We have several features that normally in the past were reserved for higher end jets. Uh, so we also focused on general aviation specific features, things like engine out guidance. And the engine out function will automatically guide you to the nearest airport. Okay, so immediately we have uh, awareness as to where we can go. Um, as more uh, or different airports come into view, it's not distracting you to say, hey, think about going to this other one, which is what's happened on some of the recent accidents where the controllers have said, uh, you know, tried to be helpful, and then right. the pilot decided to go to that other one, and, and then the whole time they could have just simply stuck with the original decision right. and been okay. But the things that are nice about this feature are the visibility in the SVS of exactly where you can make it to. So as soon as we get turned here, and you have the runway in sight, you'll be able to see, hey, our runway is well within, well within that ring, um, and we've got the ring on the 2D. That mm -hmm. takes into account terrain and wind. So with the cloud connection, you can configure your cockpit displays on your iPad at home, for example, and everything will be set up when you step into the aircraft. Just configured the cockpit, I could be 500 miles away. Uh, that's, the, that's the benefit in cloud mm -hmm. connected. I don't have to walk up to the cockpit with the iPad. You can upload your flight plan right from your desk. Mission Manager can set up automatic notifications, such as sending the fuel order to the FBO before you land. Checklists can include auto-sensing of gear and flaps. The big screens and the cloud connection gives you much more information. A dedicated secure browser allows you to access things in the air, like weather sites, for example, that previously were unavailable to you while you're flying. The 3D graphics give you exceptional situational awareness, both in the air and on the ground show me where my destination is. You can already see that on the airport. Yeah. It matches. This is a really nice uh, way of matching the clearance so we can work together as a crew and say, yep, looks like we're good. Fox Gulf 5 cutter and it gives you a lot more. Wherever you see the cyan dots, that just means that you didn't get that explicit clearance. And Honeywell says the cloud connection is secure. Everything is authenticated and verified before it's sent to the aircraft. We have multiple layers of security. We, as a company, have already been working cybersecurity and avionics for a number of years. Uh, this is with the FAA, EASA, and some of our most demanding customers. With the cloud-based uh, infrastructure, combined with um, protections, both hardware and multiple layer certificates in our onboard data server, it's, it's I, I can't say anything is impossible, but I can say it's not likely that we'll have anything come through to where it's visible to the pilot. Honeywell expects the first installation of an Anthem flight deck in 2023. Test version is flying now on a Pilatus PC-12. The Lithium eVTOL will be among the launch customers. They say retrofits will be, for existing aircraft should be available by 2025.